the Trump administration approach to Cuba was harsh on Cuba, but also harsh on the United States, harsh on Cuban Americans wanting to interact with their family and friends, harsh on U.S. companies that had been engaged in Cuba. So it, it, everyone suffered. Having said that, the expectation early in the Biden administration was that they would make two initial changes to Trump policy. The first would be about remittances, the amount of money that people could send. The Trump administration had restricted remittances to $1,000 four times a year. The Obama administration had allowed as much as you want. The Biden administration had signaled they were going to allow again as much as you want. They haven't done it. The second was to make a change and allow airlines to land at airports other than Havana. The Biden administration hasn't done that. The Biden administration has not changed one policy of the Trump administration in five months. It's been surprising to everyone. They have maintained they are doing an internal review, uh, but Cuba remains on the list of state sponsors of terrorism, remains on the list of countries not assisting with narcotics and terrorism. Um, it's, it's surprising it's taken this long, but it does have some upside for Cuba. Cuba being on the list of state sponsors of terrorism is impacting the country because companies, central banks, they all want to be very, very careful in dealing with any country that's on that list. It remains surprising that the Biden administration has not removed Cuba from the list. We will, though, have an interesting event this week, and that is the United Nations General Assembly will be voting on its annual resolution with respect to Cuba. And the Obama administration in 2016 abstained, and that was the first time the U.S. government had abstained. Normally, it always voted against removing or, or, or against the resolution. It'll be interesting to see what the Biden administration does tomorrow.